Hello, and welcome to the Info Runners podcast. I'm Osiris Frost, and today I'm joined by Execute and Paul Shelley, the Astro Pub. How are you guys doing today? Good, man. And no, I'm not just copying everything Paul does. I probably <laughs> just realized I was <laughs> copying anyway. him. Yeah, we, there was a dare right before we went on the air, and uh, <laughs> just took it too far. I know. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, today we are going to discuss the Grey Cat Rock and uh, Execute. What are your thoughts? Nobody this, knew uh, it was coming, man. No one had any yeah. clue. <laughs> um, obviously, I've known about this for a little bit, but um, yeah, my generally thoughts. I it's good to see something else coming from uh, Grey Cat. I'd like to see a lot more in the future. Um, I am more interested to know if they're going to be just a vehicle company because that kind of is their trend at the moment, isn't it? Um, I think for me, and I, I, I'm sure you two will agree, it, it, it's a bit of an LTI token uh, halfway through the year that we don't see off, see, see too much. Um, I, I, I think it's going to be needed in the game eventually, but it wasn't needed now. Is where I'll, I'll kind of leave that, and I'll pass it off to Paul. Um, what, like my thought is, and um, I don't know if I'm stepping on your toes here to execute with this one, but I'm good for it. Um, a lot of a lot of this the, the rock is great for an LTI token, um, and there might be some some aspects to it. Is it's a good it might be a good ship to have or good vehicle to have in game as a player down the line. You know, you got a you got a little homestead, you got something, you got like a big ship you can carry a lot of a lot of, a lot of uh, stuff in. You'd be that way you can like spread out the manpower, mine a bunch of stuff at once rather than having to like do one big mining vessel you know the load becomes easier to handle all those sorts of things um but it feels very much like cig got mining done and so now they're just milking the hell out of it um it doesn't it like did we need this vehicle like is it important to have it it feels stale almost it's, it's, yeah. a, it's almost as if it's like we've this is the like of the the ships we've had to go like come into the game from concept, we've had the rock and the mole. Those are the two that we've had in the last the last year, because mm -hmm. all the other yeah. ones were were pre concept sales that have been put in brought into the game. So it's almost as if they're just so laser focused on mining because it's what they got done, which yeah. is seems kind of like I don't know, maybe work on something else, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I agree with that. It's like you guys kept us waiting six months for this. Um, I I can see a use for this in the game, like you guys said, and we were talking to our Patreons right before we we went live, and this will be a great thing if you want to do cave mining, probably, in some of those larger caves that can support vehicle entry. But again, I just can't think of a reason why you would want to pledge for this instead of buy it in-game. The other side of the coin that I'll try and add to be devil's advocate is I think as vehicles go right now, it's probably the best one in game because you can at least do something with it. Um, mm -hmm. a, a lot of other vehicles are really, you know, their time to shine is a lot further along in development than now. Um, and I guess if you do have limited things that you can do mining, I know it's the only thing we've got, but at least it's, it's just so hard to put it in place. Like I, like, like how, Sl slim is the slice of pie for a mining vehicle when you can use a prospector or a mole or you can hand mine to all it's almost like in the advert like where they go oh it's just right but how big is that just right slice of the pie it, it seems very kind of minuscule to me at the moment um on face yeah. value but the market is seems to be like like this is a this is a, this is a vehicle to buy in game mm. like it, it, it seems like if you and, and and it's actually perfect for buying in game because if you have like a a, a cutlass and you want something that can can like because you can hold a lot of cargo in this in terms mm. of a lot of mining you want to go do mining and you don't want to spend that hundred that extra hundred dollars to go get a prospector but you want to mine you got yourself a rock and mm. and it's one of those things you can also do where you have a friend who likes to mine and you, they don't have they just get introduced to the game and. They're interested in it and you have you have the you say hey go rent a rock or go buy a rock we'll throw it in the back of my cutlass i'll drop you off you can go crazy to your heart's content just mining everything around you know this moon and i'll come back and pick you up and then we'll get you to go like uh go sell something it's it's it screens that kind of late beginner stage kind of vehicle this is yeah. like the first 
baby's first car, you know, <laughs> in terms of like coming out of coming out of the gate. Mm. Um, it's 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 one of those beaters that you get when you first starting to learn learn how to drive that you're going to like whip around and hit break up a little bit that kind of stuff. It's it's just not worth the fifty dollars, you know, yeah. plus that yeah. it's going to cost well, you. That's vehicles in and general, isn't about, it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And when you talk about is something worth X number of dollars, you always have to think about compared to what other ships and vehicles mm -hmm. are in game. And I think that um, <clears throat> I'm not looking at the pledge page right now for the rock, but isn't there a package with a cutlass black? That's basically the same price as a prospector. If you were interested in mining, why wouldn't you get the rock as an LTI token and then CCU mm -hmm. it yeah. to the prospector the yep. next time that becomes available? That's it's a much better option. Than it's interesting. The, the cutlass. Sorry, it's interesting you actually mentioned that because I actually got rid of the loot and scoop pack, which was the cutlass and a dragonfly, and replaced yeah. it with the cutlass and the uh, the rock, which is um, mm -hmm. and you'd have to kind of admit the rock is probably a better proposition, but then again, the other part is it's Drake on Drake and synergy and all that stuff that they have. So, mm -hmm. um, look for me. I, I kind of I think we always come to the same place with these vehicles. It really is an LTI token. If you do want this in game right now, my kind of recommendation just comes to buy it, sit on it, use it as an LTI token, come anniversary sale and upgrade it into a ship that you actually want. Um, and and like you said, if you want something like the Prospector, yeah, you'd be silly not to pick this up and just turn it into the Prospector with LTI. Um, and and that's yeah. basically probably going to be the recommendation. Well, I, I'm not going to put words in both your mouth but um is to turn this into a ship so if you want to if you wanted today to get a constellation andromeda that's always available pick this up and mm -hmm. there you go there's your LTI token is um is there yeah. any ships you're looking forward to at the anniversary sale that won't normally have LTI pick this up now so you can, can you know you can get that LTI mm -hmm. and also at the rate that they've slowed their concept releases to this could be the last chance you have to get an LTI token before the upcoming anniversary sale. Mm -hmm. I think you kind of, the one that everyone keeps thinking, forgetting about, and I, the way you kind of mentioned it earlier, sorry, so I'm going to kind of prompt you is you've kind of forgot about the G12 that came out earlier too. In the year, and everyone seems to already have forgotten yeah. that it existed. Um, uh, it's very like, oh yeah, there was very another one. Concept. But it, yeah, it was, it was. Um, how, how many, it's another rover that has no purpose other than yeah. to, to be a rover. You know, okay. combat variant with no guns. Yeah. yeah. Um. It, yeah. It, it really looks like they've really gone into this ground vehicle thing wholeheartedly because they're small concepts. They're really easy to make, um, both size wise and concept wise. They can just kind of keep or, them out. Do you think there's any merit in this line of thinking? Do you think that they're pushing out a variety of ground vehicles to for theater of war? Oh, hundred percent. Could be. I mean, could can you imagine being how fun it would be to turn to, to drive a rock, turning on that mining laser and just try barreling towards an objective in theaters of war? Just cutting infantry in half. Cutting infantry in half with a laser. Yes. It actually is kind of fun. Yes. Now I'd like to recommend like <laughs> yeah. upgrade my bike. <laughs> definitely buy one of these. I could probably see some uh, rock racing as well, trying to cut each other's tires and stuff. That would be interesting. Like, yeah. like a destruction I, derby. I've, I've heard people try to do jousting where like you, you turn like you two, two of them coming at each other and you turn around the last minute and see who uh, you can kind of like aim to hit each other as you're trying to avoid each other. Chop each other's heads off as you, <laughs> yeah. well, they're open canopy. So yeah, I can see yeah. that. Look, um, I think the other two things that we've kind of got to go over really is we kind of went over a little bit is what does the rock actually add to the gameplay? And this is kind of like along the lines of what Paul was saying. So like, We've already got the the hand mining. We've already got the prospector and the mole. Um, I guess my takeaway of this is 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 my like they've made this tier zero of what they call mining. How much more flushed out can you see mining going? Like, and that's a part of it for me. Like, it, it, is it really going to be just where it is now with this rock, or is it going to expand to some point where every ship and every hand tool and of and this is not just for mining, this is for every profession, how expansive is it going to go and how detailed? And uh, if really they are all just chalk and cheese cuts of each other, are you ever going to want to play a rock and play um, an Orion? If they're just the same thing in a different skin, 
are you really like are you gonna get to that level of the game and just go oh i can't be bothered doing that because i did that you know back when i was leveling up and i, I don't want to do that anymore because it was it's boring don't uh, mm -hmm. like uh, i guess what i'm asking you guys is to me, they really need to differentiate each one of them a lot more. And I know it's tier zero, and I know some people are going to flare up when I say that. But at the moment, I I can't see the the different directions they can take that. I'll step in well, and say I think. Oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I'll go last. Uh, <clears throat> um, I, the the easiest thing I can see in defense of CIG. I can see this being uh, being modifiable pretty easily because um, the thing about mining is that mining is pretty much the same thing, the, the devils and the details. So um, the key would be to ensure that the details are interesting enough. So because like with an Orion, you're dealing with a huge laser, <laughs> a mm. massive freaking laser. So I can imagine things like overheat being a much bigger pro impact. Um and you're also dealing with, uh, you know, like like what kind of minerals you're going to be getting, the 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 vo volatility, um, you know, you, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, dynamic stuff inside the gameplay. Um, and in terms of like more than adding, I think I think they're pretty much done with even tier one mining. It, this mm. could be a complete relaunch mining. The key with mining isn't necessarily the mining bit; it's the secondary part. It's the the refining. It's yeah. the taking it out and piecing out the, the, the dead material and you then taking the good material and refining it. Mm -hmm. And I, it also seems like CIG is moving that direction too with the refining deck. Go ahead, mm -hmm. Cyrus. So here's uh, a little bit of theory crafting that I've done, and maybe you guys can agree or disagree with me, but yep. I can see uh, an eventual evolution of mining where uh, there are certain mineables that you can only get deep under a planet's crust Yes, yeah, you have to go down to a cave. You'll never find them in an asteroid. You'll never find them on a surface. Um, and, you know, that'll tie into eventually exploration gameplay and and and, you know, all the other gameplay systems. So, yeah, I can see an application for this vehicle being useful. I'm not trying to say that this is a useless vehicle. I, and I don't think either of you guys are either. I think can, what we're trying to say question? Isn't that it's not worth pledging for. Isn't that kind of what they've done now, though? They've just kind of separated them into their own nodes. So they've artificially just created these different size nodes. So you need them to mine that node. That's, do you know what I mean? So you need the, yeah. and, and then that seems a bit forced to me. Um, but your idea yeah. is heaps better. Like if it's actually like way underground and stuff, that's heaps cooler. Yeah, and, and, yeah. And like I, the most valuable things in the galaxy, you have to really go cave diving for. Well, I was, for example, I was talking to Salty Mike this week, and one of the things he brought up in the conversation we were talking about is the prospect that he hated the fact that in a lot of the concept shops, the prospect is mining like directly in front of him, down and underneath. And how come he can't do that? And I totally agree. Like that, that was a part of the pitch. Um, so the, to, there has to be more coming. Uh, I guess I'll leave mm -hmm. it at that. Yeah. Um, one other thing I do. Have you finished what you were going to say, Cyrus? Before I kind of cut you off. Yes, I have. Okay, sorry. Sorry, my bad. Um, is is one thing that I would have preferred this vehicle to have been is not just a because I know it's got the laser on it, but you know the collecting part. It would have been really cool if this collected other things too. Like I could have seen it collecting salvage. I could have seen it collecting, like you take your pick, you know, fruits and vegetables. You could go up and suck things off trees. This could have been more of a utility vehicle. And I think, I don't know if you guys would agree with me, um, but I think it might have had a little bit more appeal in its uh, versatility if it had been like that. And you could have also had it. So what if it had two arms? One was the vacuum cleaner and one's like a utility one. So one could have been the mining head and you take that off and then put a, a salvage cutting arm or something on. He'll come so, up with that one next year. It'll be 85 bucks. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. I think that's a part of it. That's what I'm alluding to. I, um, that they, they've done it because so they can sell stuff, not so mm -hmm. it's what's best for us as a game. It's just so they can sell more. So they'll have, it almost looks like it's at a point now with some of these ships where they're separating them out so they can sell more shit. Yeah. Um, they're creating arbitrary yep. tiers just yes. for marketing purposes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what I'm getting at. Um, I, I mean, 
I can still see there 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 being content that they build for this 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 ship of mm-hmm. this vehicle. But I agree that there was no demand or need for this. Unlike say the mole, which there wasn't really a demand for, but I could definitely see the 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 need in terms of like multi crew testing and multi crew gameplay because the mole is that baby Orion. It's it's how do you work yeah. with multiple people together in coordinations? But this is just. It's just hand mining, but with a bigger with but with the uh, take the hand mine and slap it onto hand a, mining on uh, wheels with a cyclone. Yeah, <laughs> well, hand miner with a cyclone. That's what it is. So to get hey, uh, to get at what I, you're I, I, saying though, there's a bigger gap between a prospector and an Orion, and you can see how the mm-hmm. mole fits that. In fact, to the point that I can almost see another ship between the mole mm-hmm. and the Orion. Um, yeah, but I I did not see a need between this and the prospector um and and its use case has literally been made up because you had caves you could go on planets so they've literally made bigger nodes for it on that subject uh caridef just mentioned in the chat that uh originally quantanium was planned to be a hand mineable that needed specialized equipment to extract there you go so i mean that could be an application for this thing and well that's that's the last thing in our notes to talk about um, so I, I yeah. I'll say again that I can definitely see a purpose for the rock. I just don't think it's worth pledging fifty bucks for it when you could probably buy it yeah, in yeah. game no. after doing like one or two mining missions. Yeah, and I, I, and that's the last question we had here. So what rock? Uh, what does the rock add to non mining ships? And um, I was talking to Algrid about this, and Algrid um, specifically keeps bringing up the Starfarer. Because it can no longer mine its own containium, you can take this down to a planet, it can drive the rock out the back, it can mine some containium and it can refine it. So at the very least, it kind of turns the Starfarer back into the ability to be self-sufficient, where um, it's not relying on something like a mole or a prospector or eventually an Orion to feed it materials. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, no, I can see that. And um, I think... That kind of carries on to other ships too, don't you think? Like you could, it, you know, it gives a alternative activity to say something like a Cutlass or a Freelancer or any ship that holds it. It variety, yeah, it gives you variety yeah. for a Freelancer. It makes it makes something like a Freelancer a Dur really, really good for mining because now you can fly around and scan for nodes and then pop down and pop out a, a pop out a, a a rock and then go mining and come back up. So you have larger collection uh f- more diverse you can, you can drive around a little bit more and it um it adds um so it adds a level of modularity to a generalist ship yeah i think exactly. is what, where you're going with that and mm-hmm. you know to your point execute they could have a salvage version of this in the future yeah. or you know cig would probably make it a standalone ship but they could have yeah. like a, an, an ambulance vehicle they could have a one vehicle for all the different kinds of gameplays. And you could be a cutlass or a freelancer pilot who just kind of dabbles That's... and you get your modularity by switching out the vehicle that you bring with you. I could see the doctor's golf cart now. Like <laughs> I'm just out swinging and now I've got to like drive someone to the hospital. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I was also, I was just going to add to something that I saw that was really interesting. Uh, Salty Mike was streaming yesterday and I just happened to catch it at like 2 a.m. in the morning. Uh, but he actually had, uh, they were going around his org, the whole bunch of them was about 10 of them going around and they literally had one person flying the cutlass and they could fit two of them into the back of the cutlass and he'd fly around, find a node, drop them off and then, then go back in. So, and they actually found that that was really efficient. Um, so I'm, it, it, it literally could be the start of group mining before the mole because the mole's so much higher up that you could each have, you know what I mean? You got your kind of cutlass or, or freelancer and yeah. You, yeah. everyone can pick up their own little rock and, and, and go off like that. So it might actually be a really good group activity um, on the low end. And that for me is a really big thing uh, because as I said, generally, even at the prospector level, uh, you're solo. So it, it just gives more group play earlier on is what I'm trying to allude to. Um. Just before we make our final recommendations, is there any other ships that you think um, would benefit specifically from the rock, or have we pretty much covered it generally? I think we kind of have, haven't we? Uh, well, uh, the Mercury Star Run is coming out next patch, and I bet you that could fit at least one rock, maybe more. Yeah. Um, 
I've got I've got another potential one. Mm-hmm. There was a planned um, um, uh, refining ship to be added to the game oh, at true. some point. Yeah, um, and the refinery is going to be big. No, it's not going to be like it's no way it's going to be like a, a fighter size. It's going to be mm-hmm. at least a freelancer size. If it's at least a freelancer sized, maybe it'll have enough space for little rocks. So that would be the perfect pairing right there. A rock goes out and mines, comes back, refine it at the at the refining ship, and then you've got yourself a full gameplay loop in one ship. Yeah, if you could at least have one or two rocks fit on that, or or even alternatively, mm-hmm. um, instead of one of the pods that can pick up a <laughs> a rock, um, that would be kind of cool. I could see that. That'd be mm-hmm. Kind of sick, actually. I'd like that. You know, almost like a mini star fair, but it's carrying rocks. Um, <laughs> could be kind of cool. Um, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. That definitely have to like. So maybe with, there's some f- future things that we can't quite see yet. So that could be interesting. All right. Um, so what are you guys' recommendations? I was going to ask that, but sorry, she can go first since she jumped at the queue. Go ahead. What's your final recommendation? I'm chucking you under the bus. All right, my final recommendation is that this is not worth pledging for. It's definitely an earning game, but it's for those of you who buy it in game, it's going to be something that will be pretty useful. Mm-hmm. Uh, Paul. Uh, my final recommendation is uh, to kind of be the same, pretty much. Um, don't don't buy this uh, unless you're gonna you have, you have a need for it as an LTI token. It's it's very much an earn in game, but I would definitely pay attention to it. It would be one of those things that um, if you have credit lying around, maybe, and you don't, you, you're looking for something to do, maybe hold on to this until something more valuable with it comes up, or at least just keep an eye on it for future use. Yeah. And I'll kind of add to both of what they've said. So you could pick up as an LTI token right now and use it to buy a current everyday available ready ship. So any ships that are available in the store, you can buy an upgrade to, or if you are interested in using it now or just want to get an LTI can LTI token ahead of the anniversary sale so you can turn into anything, there's another option to do so there. Um, yeah, it's definitely not a, an earning game for me. Um, I will say, though, it's probably the best vehicle in game at the moment just because you can use it right now. Um, you kind of can't do a lot else with other than touring with the rest of them. So, um, But, yeah, make sure you like mining. All right. Saras, do you want to outro us out, please? Absolutely. Uh, If you like this video, please give us a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe us and hit that notification bell. Uh, Join us in the Discord. There's a ton of great conversation in there every single day. And um, if you are feeling charitable, please support us on Patreon. And uh, I think I hit all the notes, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, you got everything. Perfect. Uh, we read. Uh, make sure you comment. Let us know what you think of the rock. Yes, please um, comment on the video. Yeah. We do read them and respond. Yeah, and um, likes apparently a really big thing at the moment uh, for the algorithm. So if you could like the video, I'd really appreciate it. All right, more catch likes, you guys. more more views. Yeah, exactly. I guess. And we'll catch all you guys right. in the next one. This is execute and Paul Shelley, and see you guys later. Catch you.